Hi everybody, I'm really pleased to be able to report to you our sightings and weather for October and November. Autumn tends to bring winds and unsettled weather, which affect how whales and dolphins can be seen. October saw frequent low pressure systems along with rain and wind throughout most of the UK until the 20th. The jet stream was further south than normal, resulting in frontal systems often especially affecting the south and east of England. There was a quieter interlude from the 21st to the 23rd, and then again after a very wet spell on the 24th to 26th, with high winds on the far north on the 25th. The weather turned cold, dry and sunny for most of the country from the 27th to the 30th, although the far southwest remained very wet at times. Increasingly, during the second half of the month, the weather was better in northwest England, Northern Ireland and Scotland. Despite unsettled weather, harbour porpoises were seen all around the British Isles, but most sightings were in the central and southern North Sea, from Yorkshire south to Essex, and off southwest England and from the Bristol Channel. Bottlenose dolphins occurred in the usual locations of the Moray Firth, Cardigan Bay and Jersey in the Channel Islands, but also were recorded several times in northeast England, in the Western Channel from Dorset to Cornwall and around the Isle of Man. Common dolphins occurred in small numbers in the Channel Islands as well as in the Northern Irish Sea, off West Scotland and even in the Central North Sea. Surprisingly, there were no reports from Devon or Cornwall. Risso's dolphins were seen regularly in the Northern Irish Sea off the coast of Anglesey and the Isle of Man. The other localities where Risso's dolphins were reported included the Hebrides, Orkney and Caithness. Minky whales were spotted in several localities around the British Isles during October, at the Isle of Man in the Northern Irish Sea, in the Hebrides, around the Moray Firth and off the Yorkshire coast. Of rarer species, the most notable was Northern Bottlenose Whale, with one remaining around Crickia on the south side of the Llyn Peninsula in North Wales at the beginning of the month, followed by two seen in Loch Long in southwest Scotland a few days later. A killer whale or orca was seen in Loch Fyne, southwest Scotland, with other sightings reported further north in the Hebrides and the Northern Isles. But the species causing most excitement in October was the humpback whale with sightings in the Thames estuary. Sadly, this animal stranded later, with signs of having been struck by a vessel. Another off the coast of Angus in southwest Scotland and up to six feeding in Mouser Sound in Shetland in late October, rounding off an excellent month. November began with low pressure close to the west of Britain, giving mild, wet and sometimes very windy weather. It continued unsettled and often windy in the west until the 14th, turning colder after the first few days, with sleet and snow falling quite widely at times. There was a quieter interlude from the 15th to the 20th in most areas, followed by a milder wet spell from the 21st to the 27th. The month ended with a northerly outbreak, which brought colder, brighter weather. The jet stream was frequently further south than usual, which meant that areas such as northwest Scotland tended to be relatively dry and sunny. So what did we see? Harbour porpoises continued to be seen all around the British Isles, but particularly from Yorkshire, Humberside and East Anglia, as well as southwest England. Bottlenose dolphins were reported from their traditional haunts of Cardigan Bay and the Moray Firth, but were also seen further afield off North Wales and the Isle of Man in the Northern Irish Sea. Dorset and Devon in the Western English Channel and in the Central North Sea off the Northumberland, Durham and North Yorkshire coasts. Sightings of common dolphins became scarcer this month, with reports only from the Isle of Man and the Hebrides. Risso's dolphins that had been seen repeatedly throughout October between Anglesey and the Isle of Man continued to be observed in November, and there was even a sighting off the Lancashire coast in the third week. 
Most minke whales appear to go offshore or further south in the winter, but nevertheless, at least some remain in our waters during this season, as evidenced by reports of the species from the Moray Firth. Of rarer species, killer whales were spotted in the north of Scotland from Caithness and the Northern Isles. And humpbacks continue to be seen in Shetland, with one also off clay next to the sea in Norfolk. These sightings may reflect the movement of herring shoals in the region at this time, given the often inclement late autumn weather. It was encouraging to see a good variety of species spotted in our coastal waters. Now, if you enjoy our monthly sightings and weather reports, please do pass them on to other people that you think will be interested. So on Facebook and our YouTube posts. Thanks very much. See you soon.